there's no telling what we might find inside. And lucky me. Let me guess, some demons on the other side are gonna just murder me. It's gonna stab me through the chest and you're all gonna laugh. Alright, I'm going. This is it. Sky Haven Temple. Who knows what secrets we'll find in here? Original Akaviri bar reliefs. Almost entirely intact. Yep, that's incredible. Amazing. You can see how the Akaviri craftsmen were beginning to embrace the more flowing Nordic style. We're here for all these walls, right, Mr. Yes, Let's see what's up ahead. That looks rather wally. Um, there's quite a lot here. Those look modern. The chairs don't look the comfiest. Aldrin's wall, so well preserved. Huh? I've never seen a final example of early second era Kaviri sculpture and relief. Yes, yes. Let's see what we have. Right, prophecies and all that. Uh, dragon burning everyone. That's cool. Um. Then we have old wizard man with a staff. Hello. Here is Aldrin. This panel goes back to the beginning of time when Aldrin and the dragon cult ruled over Skyrim. Yeah, I read about that. Here. The humans rebelled against their dragon overlord, the legendary dragon war. Uh, Aldrin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. Uh, you see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory and mythic symbolism. Great. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Oh. Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to dragons. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all they knew of Alduin. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? Um, oh. You're right there. You... A bit constipated. Okay, jeez. Don't need to analyze me that much. Um, I mean, I have a shout that can just yowl people into the sky, kind of, if I point it the right way. Um,. No, just ask the Greybeards. You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. Um, I mean... They're not that bad, they're just quiet and take a lot of steps to get to. What, what do you have against them? If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War? Or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you. Of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Uh, alright. I get your point. But, you know, you wouldn't be saying that if the Greybeards were doing something and they just weren't on your side. Like, yeah, what if they joined up with the Empire and was like, let's take over Skyrim? You, you just don't know. Um, yeah, the, the, the Greybeards, they, they, they have a point. Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. 
those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains, those that misused their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the Greybeards up on their mountain. Right. I'll, I'll think on it. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go ask them. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Alkaviri to Tamriel in the first place. In search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive longswords. Now they kneel, their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last dragonborn contends with Aldrin at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. I know the prophecy by heart. Once all blades knew it, when misrule takes its place at the eight corners of the world. When the brass tower rocks and time is reshaped, when the thrice blessed fail and the red tower trembles, when the dragonborn ruler loses his throne and the white tower falls, when the snow tower lies sundered, kingless, bleeding, the world eater wakes and the wheel turns upon the last Dragonborn. Do I have to climb well, the I'm mountain again? See, see what the old blades left for us. Yes, yes, that's an excellent idea. Who knows what other lost treasures we might discover. I think we have to go to the Greybeards again. Also, you said at the end of time? Oh, he's gone. I mean, close enough. Right. This place is incredible. The sheer history here. The mind boggles at how much we could learn. It would mean a lot to me if I could have a couple of hours to properly study all this. I'll just make a few notes, a sketch or two, that sort of thing. Do you mind? A couple hours? Um, uh, yeah. Go on, I'll, uh, I need a rest. Oh, thank you. I'll try not to be too long. Yes. And this carving represents... I see. Fascinating. Fascinating. And what about this one? Ah. Indeed. You, uh... Thank you, my friend. That was most enlightening. And here, in honour of our original agreement. Oh, well, thank you. Um, you, you didn't. You don't need to give me gold, all right, Lucian. We we find enough. Let's get moving. Right. So I need to yell really hard with a specific shout at this big boy right here. And everything will be cured. I wish the Greybeards told me that to begin with. I guess they didn't know. <sighs> There's some old books you tried to decipher, Lucian. Uh... Ooh. Uh, hello. Katana's going on here. Ooh. This is fancy. Is this better than what I'm currently wearing? I mean, it's heavier, that's for sure. But, um... Ooh. 
Yeah. Okay, I can... I might as well give this to Lydia or something. Alright. Oh, this, I mean... Uh, not my usual style, must admit. It looks like I have pecs, which I certainly do not. But I feel a bit more ready to face a dragon. Um... I'm worried looking like a blade in blade armor, but I guess the, uh, the Thalmor already after me. Hey, do you want better armor? I'm right behind you. Um, let's... I am sworn to carry your burdens. Alright, alright, these burdens are actually decent. There we go, that's, that's how I looked. You're like the new me. Look at that! Let's get going then. Uh, Lucian, yeah, you're you're all right. Oh boy, what about this katana? The dragon bane. Oh well, that. I I feel like I should take that. What is it? Um. Deals 60 mag magicka, 30 shock to health and magicka, deals 40 ma- Oh. Huh. The Dragon Bane. Hmm. I wonder... If I have the shield with that... I mean... I'm not used to fighting sword and shield, but... Might work out. I'll think about it. Let's, um... Let's take a look... At what I can chuck on the ground. And good thing I had that dagger for cutting my hand. Which is a thing I never thought I'd have to say. Um. Hmm. Thing is, my axe is pretty good. What if. One of you. Lucian. How are you doing? I'm gonna give you something. That's actually pretty sure, damn good. Let's trade. Yeah, yeah. You are going to have Dragon's Bane. Um, because you're gonna be killing a lot of dragons going forward. Whereas I I like to sort of stand back a bit. Look at you. Go. Let's go. Are you right with... Yeah, you got a big axe. Um. Hey, Delphine. What do you need, Dragonborn? <laughs> so... You and Espern are like the only blades left, correct? The Thalmor hunted us down, remember? It wasn't exactly great for recruitment. But we have a headquarters of a sort now. We will rebuild the blades. Someday. Uh, good luck with that. <laughs> Thanks. Huh. What is this, Spun? I guess uh, we'll have one last... See you later. Did he go up here? Where? Oh, that leads out. I like to think of philosophy as a way of conclusively resolving the big questions in life. Or is it? Discuss? You're, you're really going to hit me with some philosophy right now? Here's one for you. Um... How... Oh, why am I doing this? That's a good 
philosophical question. Why, why me? Why do I have to save the world? Reluctantly. And, oh. Damn, it's pretty big. Got the fires going. I guess a lot of people lived here. Scritch. You sure you don't want to stay? Alright. Oh, let's go. Whew. You know what? There wasn't much fighting. Actually, there wasn't any fighting. Other than, I guess, all these people outside. So there was a so bit. after a shout. Can't say that's particularly shocking reveal, considering the whole dragonborn thing. Back to High Hrothgar, then. Unfortunately so. Where are you, Lucian? Are you... Who knows? Oh, we got a... <laughs> so many steps. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, we're off to save the world. And this is actually rather pretty. Dying a little, but the overgrown look. Um, actually, no, it's not dying, it's, it's flourishing. Yeah, I enjoy the overgrown look, it's aesthetic. There's people down there. Right. Um, where is the nearest horse and cart? Actually, where is the exit? There's a forge and oh my... That's a lot of ingot! I guess if I want to craft something... Here is where I go. Yeah, how do we get down? Like, surely they designed some kind of steps. You'd like to think? We could slide down the mountain. But that feels a, a tad dangerous. Is there a... Uh... Oh, I think this is the toilet I'm stepped in right now. Alright, I truly believe there's no way down. Which is... Quite a shame. Alright, we're doing it again. We're sliding. Just everybody watch your step. And Scritch. She's Scritch, probably an expert at this. It's a wild creature. Okay. Easy does it! And that looks like the type of place that would have a horse and cart. Maybe? Yeah. Easy peasy. Right. How do I get across? Hey, you two. Uh, which way did you go? Uh, I won't question it. Oh, we're gonna have to get wet. Alright, hang on. Ugh. Blind cliff cave. That looks like the most evil cave I've ever seen. Let's walk by there.
I'm feeling rather tired. So before we climb the mountain, travel across Skyrim. Uh, anyone here? Who doesn't want to kill me? Oh, nope, they want to kill me. Can you not? Okay. That's quite fun. And... Alright. I doubt there's any horse and cart here. And I don't blame them. Uh, right. Oh, we're apparently near a city. There we go. So just a little windmill town. Oh. Oh, never mind. I thought it was a dead body. Alright, this can't be worse than Riften. Surely. Are you nice? Yeah. Oh, my. Blimey, look at this place. It's crumbling apart. It's like a fortress. Aha! Horse and cart. I want to have a peek inside. See what it's like. Uh, hey, fellas, are you gonna... Stormcloak, the rifle high king. What a laugh. Alright, they're not charging me like in Riften already? This place is all right. Did a jewelry for your journey home? Oh, this pendant. Oh, it's lovely. That. Not a hurt. The old gods give me strength. We're leaving. I am done with these bloody cities.